Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sid Blackblade and welcome back to my channel. Now, first of all, I would like to apologize that I haven't uploaded anything uh, for a long time now. Uh, the reason being is because uh, aside from work, my computer or my old computer got busted. Both my motherboard and my power supply got busted. And since that, um, I'm using a old, an old uh, processor, a uh, socket se LGA775. You know, I had to uh, come up with some... Um, uh, resources in order to buy a much newer, uh, you know, much newer PC. Uh, right now, I've gotten a i3, a i5, uh, 4460, uh, and a decent motherboard with 8 gigs of RAM and a uh, pretty hefty uh, power supply. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess that's about it. So again, welcome back to Vlog Part 16 of our Shadow Duel Claw, Claw Class build. Uh, with the release of the Awakening patch, um, we get a hard reset uh, with all of our uh, characters uh, in the uh, standard difficulty. So this would be a great time for us to you know rebuild our characters from scratch. All right, so let's start with the skill tree right here. Now, uh, first of all, uh, when I was building this character, I was uh, aiming for as much crit, uh, crit uh, damage and uh, critical strike chances as I can. So I went up here to get the uh, cost of the Falcon and I've gotten the Throat Seeker. Uh, but then I, I, I suddenly realized that I wasn't leeching enough life and I was dying, you know, at a much uh, often rate. So what I did was I removed all of those skill nodes. You know, I only gotten the assassination skill node over here uh, But then I moved down over here to get um, the clause of pride which then increases all of our or our uh, life leech per second by 15% uh, passing through uh, another 10% over here and another 10% over here. Now, uh, in my opinion, this is a really important uh, set of skill nodes to take, especially if we are going to go with a uh, claw-based build, uh, simply because of the life leech. You know, having uh, enough or a lot of critical uh, strike multiplier is not enough for us to survive. We need to get, you know, as much life leech per second. Uh, although you could argue that, you know, you could um, either just put uh, some life leech into your socketed gems but then again you know i decided to go with this route and you know decided to uh instead of uh putting some life leech in my socketed skill gems you know i just wanted to or i just opted to use added fire damage but we'll go into that later uh, so again, uh, this is the way, uh, this is our route goes. Uh, we've gotten the uh, Blood Siphon, uh, Coordination, Sleight of Hand, the Assassination, and then we went over here to get the Blood Drinker and all of the Life Nodes over here. And then we went down over to, to the lower right side to get all of the powerful uh, Claw Nodes over here with the Soul Raker, ending with Soul Raker and Claws of Magpie. And uh, they added uh, some additional bonus over here for uh, a crit, uh, specifically for a crit-based Claw. Uh, uh, we get some, you know, uh, close critical strike chance and close critical uh, strike multiplier over here, 25% uh, and 8% respectively. And uh, the same, uh, the, the, the same goes with the other uh, bonus skill node over here, uh, increased critical strike chance and increased critical strike multiplier. And then we went down over here again. Uh, I suggest that you guys get the uh, clause of pride for some increased, um, you know, life and mana regeneration, plus increased attack speed and increased physical damage with clause. And then we went to the right side over here. Uh, this is an evasion based build, um, so I, I, I wanted to um, try and experiment to get the acrobatics and the face acrobatics. Ac uh, right here and you know I was surprised that the build build is actually working pretty well uh, which uh, which I will show you guys later you know uh, when it comes to stats and some gameplay and then we've gotten the survivalist over here for the uh, all resist and the plus uh, one maximum cold resistance and then uh, we've gotten the heart seeker over here passing through uh, some critical strike chance nodes and then we went over here to pass through a socketed uh, skill slot. And what I have there is the uh, Dust Joy over here. It's not really impressive, uh, but then this is, um, this is again your utility. You can put whatever you want here. Uh, ideally, I was trying to roll a critical uh, hit chance and a critical hit damage or critical strike multiplier roll, but I wasn't able to, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't lucky enough to roll that one, so uh, this one rolled instead, which is actually pretty good uh, in my opinion because it has uh, physical damage with one-handed melee weapons and a 11% uh, increased melee damage. But if you can, you know, you could roll um, 
critical strike chance and again critical strike multiplier if you're lacking some life then roll some life if you want some more evasion then you know roll some evasion if it's possible uh, i'm not exactly exactly sure if uh, that route is possible or, or that uh, all those stats are possible and then uh, we went down over here to, again to get the herbalism uh, for again for some more uh, some more life nodes and then we went over to the ranger side uh, taking the aspect of the panther again every time i go melee and i go uh, in this route i always take the uh, aspect of the panther as uh, much as possible because you get four uh, stats with one skill nodes with one skill node and then uh, we've gotten the weapon artistry over here and then the finesse uh, heart of oak and the primal spirit uh, primarily primarily for just some mana management and then uh, we've gotten all of the life and evasion nodes over here and then uh, we went down over here uh, to take the um, twin terrors for uh, some more uh, weapon uh, crit critical strike chance when dual wielding uh, we're using two claws so that counts as dual wielding and then we've gotten the uh, thick skin over over here again for more life and survivability uh, i've gotten the wisdom uh, glade over here for some thir uh, 30 intelligence uh, that is for some just uh, gem and some gear requirements and then we went over here to the left side to get the um, golem's blood for again for some more life and then i wanted to get another socket over here uh, you can put whatever you want i haven't been lucky uh, to get you know any uh, any good uh, you know crimson or uh, any good gem at all so i got this one instead this is free uh, you get this one in act two uh, in an act two quest on nightmare difficulty if you're uh, interested with that one or you can just put any you know any uh, jewel that you find you know probably life or resist or if you want more crit chance again and some more crit uh, critical strike damage uh, that would be great also and then uh, we went up over here to get the dervish uh, art of the gladiator and then uh, bravery for again for life and then master of arena and then uh, the mana flows for some mana management and again uh, the melee damage over here uh, when i get into further levels if i can uh, we are already at level 88 so getting into 89 and through 90 would be a little bit uh, much more tedious but if i can you know i'm gonna get some uh, i'm gonna finish all of the life and evasion nodes over here all right so i guess that's about it when it comes to our uh, passive skill tree uh, let's go to our stats right here i uh, to our uh, gear set uh, we are going to be using the Bloodseeker again for this build uh, simply because I, I want to take advantage of the uh, of the life leech that applies instantly with this weapon and then uh, we are going to be using a high DPS uh, great white claw over here uh, if you re if you remember guys back then this used to be uh, at 300 DPS but you know with the advent of the jeweled sockets uh, GGG has uh, has decided to reduce you know some DPS on some weapons and they reduce the DPS on this one to only 258 but that's cool you know it's okay if you can uh, roll some critical strike multiplier on your uh, on your claws for our gloves uh, since this is a crit based build or uh, primarily a crit based build uh, we are going to be needing to use the uh, Maligaris Virtuosity for the uh, crit chance and crit strike multiplier for our helm we are going to be using the rat's nest again for the increased attack speed uh global critical strike chance and you know add some added uh rarity or some uh 20 you know magic find over there for our amulet we are going to be using this one uh, primarily for the additional attributes life and then resistances the additional uh physical damage attacks is a, is an added bonus uh, if you can roll that one uh, for our rings we are going to be using a life ring similar to this one uh, plus some uh, pretty good roll of attributes strength and physical damage to attacks and i decided to roll an additional fire damage to uh, this one just to further increase our dps for our um uh, chest piece or armor we are going to be using this one you know typical life and then resistances uh, i chose this one simply because it rolled a six socket uh, if you can you know get a an evasion based or an evasion type of armor um roll it into six sockets or six link if you if you guys can uh, for our belt we are going to be using this one a, a rustic sash with a good uh, life and then resistances uh, for our boots i am going to be using this one uh, since it doesn't have any you know uh, any movement speed there you know that's okay because this one rolled uh, three very uh, good rolls of resistances both uh, all on fire uh, cold and then lightning resistances it's a very good uh, boots in my opinion uh, without the you know without the movement speed but that's okay 
for our gems uh, what is connected to our dual strike will be uh, added fire damage uh, increased increase critical damage uh, faster attacks multi strike and melee splash also for our other ring this is entirely optional if you guys don't want to use this one it will be entirely uh, up to you but i really wanted to use the advantage of uh, gain a power strike on uh, a power charge on a non-critical strike the rain is starting to fall heavy i'm just going to uh, try and talk you know much more loudly so that you guys could hear my voice uh yeah so i wanted to take advantage of the um uh, of the power uh, gain power charge on a non-crit uh ju just in order for us to you know bump up our critical strike chances but you know we we lose all of those of our charges on a critical strike but then you know uh that's actually working pretty well uh with this build plus we get an increased uh, global critical strike chance of 20 percent and we get an increased global critical strike multiplier of 10 percent all right for our other skill gems we are going to be using blood rage attached to uh, cwdt molten shell and uh, concentrated effect uh, this will be your uh, utility skill gem set you may want you may choose uh, whatever you want to but i highly suggest that you guys get a blood rage over there to further increase your overall dps for our skill gems for our movement speed we're going to be using a uh, whirling blades with faster attacks for our curse we are going to be using assassin's mark attached to uh, cwdt and increased area of effect now the, the uh, attachment to cwdt is entirely optional if you want to bump up or max out your assassin's mark you know that will be entirely up to you but i am just a lazy son of a bitch so i just wanted to you know uh, let that cast by itself and you know just worry about uh, getting into battle attacking and then getting out of the battle you know that's the only thing that i really want to worry about and occasionally casting the uh, fire uh, fire golem the fire golem is a really good um uh, skill gem to use with this skill with this uh, build simply because it adds you know some uh, uh, you know increased flat damage uh, in this case it's at 19% simply because the minion is uh, only at 15% uh, the uh, uh, fifth, level 15 the rain is starting to pour down harder uh, hold on I'm going to continue this video a little later just hold on for one second all right so I'm back so the rain has uh, slowed down a little so I can uh, so you guys could uh, hear me uh, properly now so again as I was saying uh, the summon flame uh, golem will be a, an, a really good um, skill gem to include because again it increases your uh, damage by you know a certain percentage a flat percentage uh, as you can see our the DPS of our dual strike is at 45k if we remove the uh, flame golem that drops to 44k so that additional 1k is you know it, it is going to be a huge help uh, for us so let's just resummon him again and then for auras we are going to be using grace uh, with herald of ice now at first i really wanted to use the herald of thunder but then that that had a huge um intelligence requirement so i just uh use the herald of ice instead and again the reduced mana is is, is not working uh with the awakening patch so yeah uh, we're only stuck with using uh two uh two auras but i believe that you could push it to three uh, there's this particular gem that uh you know reduces the uh mana reserved of the uh uh, of the certain skill gems so yeah you could probably use three if you guys could uh, pull that off then you know uh, that, that's going to be good also and uh the last thing that uh that's attached to our um uh, summon fire golem is the minion life uh, because if we don't have the minion life the uh, minion the, the life of the minion is, is at uh, 7.2k but if we add uh, the you know the additional minion life um, skill gem over there uh, his life increases to uh, about 9k so that means you know more survivability for him and less time for us to recast them over and over again all right so with our um stats uh, our damage is doing at uh, 45k but again that increases you know when we get our uh char um you know um charges from the blood rage and charges from the uh, power charge so that's going to fluctuate from 50k and above our crit hit chance uh main hand is doing a 32.28 percent and the crit strike multiplier is at 492 with our offhand the crit strike multiplier is at uh, the crit strike chance is at 34.97 percent and it's doing a 492 percent it's going strong again oh please just let me finish this video all right so when it comes to our defenses uh our evasion rating is sitting at 11.2k 
with an estimated chance to evade attacks at 49%, which is actually pretty high. And uh, we have a chance to dodge attacks at 40%, and we have a chance to dodge spells at 30%. All of our um, element elemental resistances are capped, uh, except of course for our uh, chaos resistance. And we have some uh, stun, ignite, chill, um, freeze and shock avoidance of 8%. Uh, the stun avoidance is uh, 30%. Alright, so I guess that's about it. Let's uh, get into some gameplay um, right here. So we are going to be uh, doing a level 75 map over here. It's just a, it's just a typical uh, leveling map just to showcase to you guys that the um, that the build can actually do you know high level maps all right so let's go with that i was actually um thinking of doing a level 76 map because that was the that, that's the highest map that i could uh that i could uh do but then i ran out of maps simply because of uh, um you know faster oh dry wood map that's good okay so um i hope we could get into some pretty good uh packs here so as you can see, the build is working actually pretty great. I was hoping to give you guys some Malachi kill, uh, but then you know I'm I haven't really figured out uh, his tricks yet. There's actually a a pattern to what his act what his movements are, and he's actually not that hard. Uh, but then you know I'm I'm still in the process of uh, memorizing you know all of his uh, all of his moves in order to avoid uh, you know death. All right, so. Um, Hold on, I wanted to show you guys the um, damage over here so that you guys could uh, actually see how the damage fluctuates and what the uh, what we're actually what the um, average damage is actually. So you can see on the uh, left side there, we are kicking off at about uh, 45 and sometimes uh, 50k uh, DPS. where uh where's the boss the boss is usually on the upper uh left corner of the screen all right so i succeed uh with i think the maximum dps that we could do is at 65k uh hold on uh 62k yeah, 62k. So that's already a huge uh, amount of DPS, uh, in my opinion. I'm not exactly sure, but I think we could still push that uh, if we could get, you know, some good, uh, some good DPS claws, and if we could um, level up our, uh, you know, our gem some more. Specifically, the uh, added, you know, added, um, added fire gem, added fire damage gem. You know, if we could level up that one some more. Uh, that would uh, you know uh, give us some more uh, damage boost. Wow, I'm still getting some desyncs. You know the the desync the desync is not really uh, that often anymore. When they said that they actually fixed it, uh, yeah. All right, so we are getting some uh, pretty good oops, uh, pretty good set of uh, mobs here. Ooh, Orb of Alchemy, that's it. Okay, uh, hoping that we can uh, finally get into the boss right here. Hold on, let's just resummon him, uh, our fire golem, because he's almost dead. Oops, uh, we got a divination card there. What was it? The Gambler? Yeah, I, ha I haven't uh, actually gotten uh, as much divination cards yet. I haven't, uh, you know, perfected it because you know you you really need uh, like uh, requirements for it, like a maximum number of ooh or what you Hey, I'm getting pretty lucky with my uh, with my drops here and Helion's Paw. You know, I may uh, I'm gonna chance orb that and hope to get a uh, Bloodseeker. Card. Alright, come on baby. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Yeah, and it's pretty surprising too. This is my first time to actually use a uh, an acrobatics uh, type of build and it's actually pretty working uh, pretty well. I don't usually trust it. Uh, you know, like before I always got the... Um, I, I've always chosen to get the uh, iron reflexes instead of that... Um, Instead of that skill, whoa, 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 but then uh, the build is actually working pretty well. I mean, the acrobatics, um, that is. 
All right, so here's the boss right here. And whoops. All right, so he's dead. Oh, and we've gotten a gold diamond. Hold on, let's get that first. All right, so uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is, so I'm excited to identify it. Hold on, let's just get rid of this uh, monsters first. Let's summon our golem over there. Oh my god, will you guys ever end? All right, so let's just finish off these mobs right here. Oh, I thought that was a monster. Hold on, uh, let's get whatever and let's identify that. What is? Oh my god, yeah, that that kind of sucks. All right, so I get. Uh, so before I end the video, let let me know what you guys think about the uh, build in the comment section down below. And thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'm gonna see you guys on the next part of my video. Have a good one. It's good to be back. Uh, if you could look over to the lower right side of that one, you can see uh, a sort of armory over here which has a small guns logo, uh, particularly an uh, assault type of rifle. So uh, we may be able to purchase some uh, some. Uh,